Guys, Star Wars was an awesome movie. And if you haven't seen it, I recommend going to see it. I just got to do it seeing it. It's really cool. I don't really remember a lot of stuff that happened in the old Star Wars, but this movie was a lot of fun, man. Just insane. Insane. Like, the amount of craziness that's going on and the, the visuals and stuff, it's great. I think you would enjoy it. Um, it's about 3.30 in the morning right now. I don't usually record this time. I think it's the first time I've ever recorded this late. But I went to the movies with a buddy of mine, and we haven't sat and talked for a while. We recorded a video in his car, and I was like, dude, you gotta start a YouTube channel. He's gonna put it up. I'm excited for him. Cool dude. We had a great talk. So after good conversation, I noticed that I get to this spot where I get all these great thoughts, and now that it's 3.30 in the morning, I'm like, I just gotta turn on the camera. I was sitting here writing down on my planner and trying to put this to good use. This thing is helping me so much, guys. I hope that you invested in one of these. I mean, look at this thing. I'm filling it up. And you really just, just give it a try. Test it. Don't be afraid to test it. <sighs> so, one of the thoughts I was having was about women. Women. They're... It's tough to talk about women, you know? You get confused as a male, we get so confused. Anyway, here it goes. I'm gonna try to be as congruent as I can right now. Thank you for joining the show. So, I said in a previous video about Zelda, the video game, and how Link, the main character, always has that little fairy like that's going around his head, and he, she's with him wherever he is on the path. Okay, and in a, in the sense, a woman, a good a woman can be that same thing to you, not a fucking fairy, but she can be a nurturer. She can be someone that builds you up and makes you strong along your path. And I think any man, really, I think most men don't just want a one night stand. Most men want a woman that is going to love them, that is going to, they're going to fuck, they're going to fuck them, and they're going to build up they're going to make feel like a king all right you want your girl to make you feel like a king and you can make her feel great in return you both give each other value but you know how do you get there i mean when you're looking to start a relationship or when you're in a relationship guys i think it comes down to being authentic okay and a woman can sense when you're being authentic or not because Especially when you get into a relationship, right? In the very beginning, you're getting to know someone and, and you get to see like their true self after a while. And when you're in a relationship for a while, you, you can tell when someone's being weird. Just like you can tell when your friends aren't being them, their real selves. They're maybe acting, you're like, wow, why is he being like this? Is he just trying to fit in? Is he just trying to, you know, be cool? Why is he doing this? Why is he doing that? So a woman can do the same thing. She can sense when we're doing something just to do it. And a lot of times we do it because of neediness. Now, one way that we can't be authentic with anyone, with our women, with our bosses, with our friends, is if we're not authentic with ourselves. All right? And if we're not authentic with ourselves, guys, let me tell you a little story. My girlfriend, I've been noticing this lady, and it just clicked, man. It just clicked at 3.30 in the morning. She'll ask me, did you work out this morning? And, and when I hear it, I'm like, why is she fucking asking me this? And I usually work out in the morning. And when I work out in the morning, I have the best days. I might not have the strongest lifts, but the day that follows that is more alive. I'm more present. I'm more fun to be around. I'm more just vibrating with energy. And I think, especially when I do the stair stepper, man, the cardio does something with the, you know, releasing all those endorphins and, man, feel good throughout the day, hormones. And my girl can tell. And I tip, she likes to be around me when I'm feeling good, right? I'm authentic. I'm in my true self. But when I'm not authentic, she'll test me. She'll fucking say, she'll ask me right off the bat, did you work out this morning? And then, you know, no, I didn't. Well, why not? You know, she knows I, I like to work out in the morning. She knows that I know that working out in the morning is the best for me. So why didn't she do it? 
Jesse, why don't you work out? <laughs> and I'm like, fuck, why didn't I work out? So there's one thing where I'm letting go of my path. If I know that's going to set me up for the best day, but I decided to hit snooze button and sleep an extra 30 minutes or decided to go to bed late, I can't be on the top of my game, right? So being authentic and they're going to test you when they see some sort of you being fake, man, all right? Because when you're not real with yourself, when you get off of your own path, then you feel like you're failing, you feel like you're you're less, okay? When you don't do the things that you know you need to do, you feel less. And then when you feel less, you feel less around your girl. And in turn, you become needy. You now need that little fairy to guide you along the path. You need her love, you need her attention, you need her to build you up. I need sometimes my girlfriend, but to like tell me, that I am this and that I am that, but I should have that in abundance within myself, okay? Because that stuff really does come from within, guys. It really does. And it's so important that we do the things that we have planned out, <laughs> that, that we stick to the, the very things that we know are... I know, man. I can only speak for myself. I know that I should work out in the morning, okay? And when I don't, I'm probably going to have a worse day. I am going to have a worse day if I don't do that. If I'm not meditating, I'm not going to be at the peak of my game. So, you know who's going to see that? The people that are closest to me in my relationships. And one of those is a girl, all right? So, one of those is my friend. And they're going to see that and they're going to call me out in subtle ways. And I'm going to respond in neediness and that is such over time guys it just it doesn't provide a good strong relationship when a man gets off of the path constantly the woman has to no longer be that fairy no longer be that that loving presence that you need it, a man needs yes he does need that contrast to the to the constantly go 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 he needs the the yin to the yang but a man has to Really, be doing what he knows to do. Walk in that path, and when you get off of it, man, that's when you prepare. That's when you feel like you have to be needy, and you'll realize it. When you get off of it, man, you're like thinking in your head, oh, what is she thinking about me? Oh, what's going on? Who's she talking to? I wonder who's texting her. But I guarantee you guys that when you stick to the path and you do what you know to be doing, that shit won't matter, all right? Because you are just overwhelmed with it. I'm fucking doing it, man. I'm walking it path. I'm fucking link on the journey. I don't even know because I never beat that video game. It was too hard, but I'm link. I'm on the journey. Peace. Have a good night. I'm going to sleep.